Welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today we're going to make something we've not made before. You all really did really like those uh, Taco Bell crunch wraps that we made. However, I was thinking, wouldn't it be really cute if you made a pizza like that? So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'll bring you down here and show you what the steps we're going to take. I got my pan um, started to heat up here. Throw a little bit of oil in here. And what I'll be doing is taking some of my freezing frozen green peppers and then my onions from the other day because we might be making four of these like two each and then I'm just going to go ahead and get these browned up I'm not going to put any spices or anything in here because I'm not going to need them. And then I have a pint of my canned mushrooms, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get this all warmed up and get this brown, you know, get this all ready to be put in the, um, the, the crunch wrap pizzas. And um, I'll bring you over to the island when we're done here. All right, so the green peppers, onions, and mushrooms are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring those over to the island. I do have the Ninja XL on warm, because that's how we toasted um, the crunch wraps before. So we'll bring it over to the island. Now what's gonna happen is Mark's gonna make his, I'm gonna make mine. So we're gonna kinda like do, there's two of them on there, honey. What we're gonna do is like we did with the crunch wrap, where we're just gonna go ahead and cut halfway up all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sauce to the side and Mark can do whatever sauce or whatever he wants then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of my vegetables I made too many, but I'm sure I could use a snake, remake that in some eggs or something. So the object is to wrap it here, then wrap it there, and then wrap it here. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and put just a little bit more sauce in this area. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of cheese there, a little bit of cheese here. So it's kind of like cheesy throughout there. And then... My last one, I'll go ahead and put the turkey pepperoni. And then put the pepperoni here. And I'll put a little bit of cheese over it. I don't know for sure if you can see what Mark's doing over there or not. Let me. A little bit different. Maybe. A little bit. But the thing is, because this is something that we can make up ourselves, you can make it however you want it. I don't know for sure if this will even turn out. Hopefully you'll get a video tonight. And put this a little bit more cheese on this side. And you know what? I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of sauce on all four pieces like this. That way if nothing's feeling, um, you know what I'm saying, doesn't have the sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this like this. Turn this like this and then turn this like this all right so it's gonna look like that which honestly looks pretty really good so I'm gonna go ahead and start my second one marks on his second or he's still working on both of his I thought if this works that would be really great because I think I'm just going to go ahead and put sauce on all four sides a little bit just because that way it has sauce. I'm going to put it on two sides. Alright. So then I'm going to go ahead and put the veggies here. Do you put anything? Put, it on put any the side cheese there. Put the 
pepperoni here. Now obviously you could do whatever toppings that you would like. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on each little side here. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Fold this. And, and fold this. So the second one is looking like this. Now that I've made a big mess, we're going to go throw these in the air fryer. We'll be right back. All right, friends. So this is mine. It's got a nice little brown color. We put it on for like five minutes in the air fryer for 350. And then this is Mark's. So it is much too hot because it just came out of the air fryer. It's much too hot to go ahead and taste for you. But I'll let you know what we thought about it in the comments down below. But if this does work, like I think it will. I think this could be a very fast, quick, easy way that you want a pizza that day, but you don't want to really order out. I mean, you could make this into, you know, a barbecue chicken pizza, a taco pizza, the regular pizzas, a cheese pizza. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you could possibly think of as far as, you know, Philly steak, cheap pizza. Um, all the pizzas that we do they actually have so I think this will work very very nice um, I mean it's, it held together very well it looks pretty yummy and like I said the extra um, vegetables I have left I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do up some eggs tomorrow and I'll have me a little, nice little breakfast <laughs> so anyways let me know if you guys have ever done this before and if you have did it work for you did you like it and then what kind of pizzas do you suggest that you even try to make with this? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you very much. Enjoy your Friday the 13th. I will. This is my, my most favorite day of the whole entire year. Doesn't matter what um, month it's in, but it's actually my most favorite day. It has been for most of my life, but I just thought I'd tell you. So it's nothing bad. All good things happen on Friday the 13th. So you guys all have a very, very blessed and wonderful day and have a good night.